Hello guys, my name is Remik and in today's video we'll talk about how to very easily send an email from a .NET application, we'll use the SMTP client and also the Gmail as the email provider. We'll also set up this Gmail account in order to be able to be used in our .NET application and then we'll create a simple endpoint to send an email to the proper destination. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button down below, write the comment, give me the like and as always, now we are straight into the topic. After creating the brand new Gmail account, you have to enable the two-step verification in order to access the specific URL that I have posted uh, in the description of that video uh, and the URL will just um, redirect you to this page for application passwords. It should be visible somewhere here on the main security page in the Gmail account but unfortunately for the state of 2024, I haven't found this, uh, this URL over here. I have found this in some kind of the discussion on Google. And as you see, we have the application passwords. And so far I have created one password. And for now, I will just remove the password. And I will just create the brand new by providing the application name. And then the Gmail will generate for you one uh, application password that then you can just put into the app setting JSON file and use this in order to authenticate with the SMTP client of the Gmail. So I will just try to create one. It will be the send, send email application and I will just create and as you see your application password for your device and I have this password and then we can use this password uh, in our upsettings json file in our api as the starting point i have created the blank .NET web api and we'll start with the upsettings json uh, to create the specific section of the gmail options that will just put the host port email uh, and also the password so i'll just write a comma after that and I'll just write Gmail options and in here I'll just put the host. It will be very important just to have this setup in the upsetting JSON instead of hard coding that value. So I'll just write smtp.gmail.com. The next thing is the port and the port will be 5. Eight seven. The email that I will be using. This is the email that I have just created. So I'll just copy paste that email. And the and the password will be this password that we have generated. So I'll just copy that password. And I will remove the spaces that are in between. And now we'll use the options pattern in order to retrieve that specific section of the Gmail options. So I will just create one directory called options. And inside of it, I will just create Gmail options.cs. And the first thing here, we have to define the key uh, where actually our options will have the content. So the content of it is in the section that's called Gmail options. So we have to create Gmail options key. So public const string Gmail options key and it was called Gmail options. The first property was the host, so we have just to define the, the host property. Then it was public int port. After that, we had an email and also the password. And now we have to go to the program CS and in our IOC container, we have to configure the Gmail options. 
So down below after the add swagger gen, I will just type builder.services.configure configure with the type of Gmail options and inside of it, I'll just type builder dot configuration dot get section because we have to get the specific section based on the specific key. So our key was gmail options dot gmail options key. So as you see, it's pointing to this gmail options and the gmail options we have in our app settings JSON file. So based on that, we'll retrieve the content of that Gmail options. Now, once we have created our Gmail options and we are able to retrieve the specific configuration for the Gmail, and we are able to create the service and also the contract to send an email to the specific recipient based on the subject and body that will be provided in our endpoint. We'll create the endpoint in the program CS and this endpoint will use the Gmail service and the Gmail service based on the specific contract will send an email to the specific recipient. Uh, so for the demo purposes, I will not create a separated uh, projects for all of this stuff. Uh, so the contract and the services will be inside of the API. So I'll just create the directory called contracts and I will just create send email request.cs it will be the record and inside of it I will just write string recipient I'll write subject and also the message body and at once we'll just create another directory called abstracts and inside of it I will just create an interface called iMail service.cs and we'll have the one method send email async and we'll just take as a parameter the send email request send email request. Now we can create another directory that will be called services and in the services itself we'll create the specific gmail service.cs and of course we'll implement the imail service. Now we'll just create a constructor of the gmail service and we'll inject the options that we have created. So I will just take as the parameter i my options of the type gmail options gmail options and we'll just create private read only gmail options gmail options with the underscore gmail options and site of the constructor will just assign the gmail options will be equal to the gmail options dot value and now we'll create the mail message mail message is equal to the new mail message and inside we'll just assign the from will be from our email address that we have provided uh, in the upsetting json file so we'll just create new mail address object and it will be equal to the gmail options dot email the next will be the subject and the subject we can take from the send email request dot subject then the body equal to the send email request dot body as well now we have to define to uh, which recipient we would like to send that email so i will just assign this to our recipient from the send email request contract so mail message 
to them. We can use the add method and will be the send email request dot recipient. And now we have to create the SMTP client. We will use the using clause for this and then we'll assign the host port credentials, we'll enable the SSL, and then finally we'll send the email. So I'll just type using var smtp client is equal to the new smtp, smtp client, and down below smtp client dot host will be equal to the Gmail options host smtp client dot port will be of course equal to the port that we have provided in our upsetting json file then smtp client dot credentials will be equal to the new network credential and inside of it we'll have the username and the password so the username will be the email of course and the password will be the password. And after that, we have to enable the SSL. So we will use the SMTP client dot enable SSL and we'll assign this Boolean value to the true. And down below, we'll just use the send mail async method from the SMTP client and we'll pass the mail message as the parameter. So I'll just Type smtp client dot send mail async, and of course we have to provide the mail message inside of it, and we'll go to the program CS, and we have to also register our Gmail service and provide the interface for it. So I will just type builder dot services dot add scoped. And the first param will be the mail service and the implementation of it, so the Gmail service. And now as the last part, we'll create the very simple post endpoint from the email API. Uh, we'll get the um, recipient body and the subject from the uh, JSON request body. It will be converted into the send email request and then we'll use the email service that we have created in order to send an email by the gmail account so i will just use the app map post as the root it will be the email it will be the asynchronous call so we'll just provide the async keyword Lambda expression and inside of it we'll use the from from body attribute and it will be the sent email request sent sent email request and as the next parameter we'll use our email service that we have created. mail service and inside of it I will just await mail service dot send email async and we'll take the send email request from the request body and in case of having 200 ok response we'll just return the results dot ok and email sent successfully As you see on the screen, we have one post endpoint in our Swagger uh, with the email root and inside of it we have the contract, so the send email request. So we have to provide the recipient, subject and the body. So I will use the same email that we have assigned in the upsetting JSON file. So the recipient will be the same. So I will be sending an email to myself. Subject will be test with the exclamation marks and the body we have to check if our functionality works fine i will execute 
And as you see, our mail message has the body, has the from this mail address, and to we have the mail address collection, and the result is the same email. So once I will just resume our program. We see that we have the response body email sent successfully, and in our inbox we have me and the test. So it was sent successfully. We have to check if our functionality works fine, and actually we have checked, and our functionality works fine.